Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, not too long ago, I got myself this Google Cardboard. I'm sure you actually recognize that iconic shape. Of course, I got it to, you know, use it with my phone. But unfortunately, none of the apps could actually download. My phone was incompatible with Google Cardboard, which is kind of unfortunate. And it actually got me thinking, why was that so? It's not like my phone couldn't actually, you know, detect things like motion or, you know, tilting it at a different angle. So what is it that Google Cardboard needs that my phone doesn't have? I'm sure you already know that your phone is packed with a whole load of different sensors. And as it turns out, just the act of figuring sort of which direction it's facing and how it's falling about uses more than one sensor. You see, for this purpose, most phones come with two sensors an accelerometer, as well as a gyroscope. And that is, of course, the two things in our title. These actually have overlapping roles. Here's what they do. An accelerometer simply detects acceleration, as its name implies. It does so in three axes, of course, well, our world is a three-dimensional world, right? X, Y, and Z. And your phone basically detects how much acceleration there is in addition to the direction of acceleration according to these axes. Now, this is already extremely useful because if I were to just hold my phone up like this, well, it can already detect the acceleration of the Earth and as a result, it's able to find out which direction is down. I can tilt my phone in any direction and down stays the same and that's what makes it, well, capable of actually detecting its orientation just using that. Of course, gestures like shaking or dropping the phone can also be detected this way. A gyroscope, on the other hand, is a detector of angular velocity. What that means is, if I were to just hold up my phone like this, well, that sensor isn't going to get any major readings. However, just twisting it in any direction at all will start to fire off that sensor. As you can imagine, the roles of these two sensors can actually overlap and in fact even complement each other. The reason why cardboard doesn't work on my phone is because my phone only has an accelerometer. Now, an accelerometer is enough for most applications. For example, turning your phone from portrait to landscape and having the screen actually rotate. Well, you only need an accelerometer to do that. So my phone just doesn't come with a gyroscope. It's a cheaper phone, right? That's one of the features they cut out. However, when dealing with things like Google Cardboard, you know, where it needs to quite precisely track what direction you're actually facing and, you know, how you're tumbling about in 3D space, well, that turns out to not be enough. So yeah, hopefully this has given you a better idea of what, you know, these two sensors actually do and uh, why we need two of what seems to be the same thing on a device. In fact, some apps have been written to hack a fake gyroscope out of phones that don't have one. All they need to do is to take accelerometer readings, clean it up using some math, and you technically have a fake gyroscope. You can actually provide information concerning rotational velocity. Of course, these are inferred values. They're not going to be accurate, which is why in the first place, phones have both of them. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. I hope you've gained some insight today. But yeah, until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.